Good morning, everyone. It's Jennifer McCreeth. Monday morning, March 9th, 2015. It is very early in the morning here. Coming up on 6 o'clock. Uh, sporting my new Cape to Cabot 5 hat, which you cannot buy in stores. You can only get one if you run the Cape to Cabot 20K road race five times. Anyways, just watched a panel from CBC, the National, last night on trans issues. Um, interestingly enough, they chose International Women's Day to do a trans panel, although March 31st is uh, International Trans Day of Visibility. Interesting panel. They had uh, a radio journalist, a newspaper journalist, and a rep from uh, a gay lesbian organization. No trans people. And uh, they first started talking about, I guess, mainstream, how there seems to be a a sh paradigm shift from trans people being portrayed in, in pop culture and seen as freakish to wow these are actually regular people uh, they showed clips of uh, Orange is the New Black and they referenced uh, Bruce Jenner the uh, famous um, Olympian who's now somehow involved in the Kardashian family who has gone through various transitional outward facing presentations without actually publicly outing oneself as trans which was fine that was a good good part of it and they talked about medical transition and uh, should this be covered and all this sort of stuff and they started talking about the importance of safeguards and protocol which yes is important to have what they did not touch upon was the fact that some of these protocol that we have in Canada are too stringent and they, there was an argument over using the term hoops to jump through and yes there are way too many hoops to jump through um, World Professional Association of Transgender Health they did reference uh, doctors caring for trans people making up the guidelines what they did not say was that most Canadian provinces do not follow those guidelines and that is a serious issue that could have been mentioned um, they seem to be in agreement that quote if this is a medical condition then it deserves to be treated unquote well it is a medical condition and the, the, the challenge is uh, I guess fitting the classification fitting a, a unique type of medical condition into a binary if you will, medical classification scheme, mental versus physical, and it's the only condition I can think of where a mental assessment is used to treat a physical condition. Um, anyway, then they moved on to, uh, I guess, how do we, they talked a little bit about human rights, and they seem to keep comparing it to the gay rights movement which I suppose is good news because the gay rights movement proved successful 40 years ago it was the end of the world if gays wanted to be together as, as partners and get married and you know what we've had same-sex marriage here in Canada now for 20 years and the world has not come to an end um, they didn't really hit on the obstacles and the myths and the challenges currently faced with with human rights they talked a lot about the the uh, the fear-mongering and the bathroom bills and all this crap um, they didn't really touch on a lot of other key issues such as not trans people not being taken seriously by society systemic discrimination um, in terms of housing access to housing access to employment access to be accepted into certain parts of groups, social circles, and uh, they didn't talk about rejection from family, rejection from friends, um, and uh, the challenges trans people face within this broader LGBTQ umbrella community that we've been lumped in with. Um, yeah, so CBC, I guess we'll, we'll give you two stars out of five for the effort. Um, 
and one out of five for the actual product. Um, the reaction on Twitter seems to be quite disappointing and harsh. Um, great idea to have a national trans panel, but a little disappointing that you didn't have trans people on there. I mean, there are many well-known trans activists across the country, um, yet uh, none of us were invited on to uh, to talk about this. So, oh well, um, it's a start, and. Uh, I'll give kudos to Ryan Dick from EGL Canada. Um, while I'd rather see a trans person on that panel, Ryan s seemed to s seemed to know his stuff, and I'd say he t totally outshone the two journalists, who obviously uh, weren't as tuned in to the issues as, as Ryan was. So uh, a thank you and a congratulations out to Ryan for uh, doing a great job on that panel. Anyways. Uh, March 31st, International Transgender Day of Awareness and Visibility. Um, stay tuned, I've got some things planned. Jennifer McCreeth saying, good morning, coffee time. <laughs>